My name is Tom Titus and I'm a research associate in John Postlewaite's lab in the Institute of Neuroscience. One of the big projects that we do in the lab is a mutation screen and um, we target specific genes, target a particular uh, uh, amplicon from a specific gene that's likely to, uh, to, uh, to give us a, a mutation that will, uh, will give a phenotype in the end. And we've developed a method where we can mutagenize a line of fish and screen the heterozygous outcross uh, approximately 8,000 fish um, and uh, screen those by PCR and, and actually identify heterozygous carriers for knockout mutations. We initially quantitated uh, 2,000 of our DNA samples uh, using some uh, standard uh, absorbance uh, technology and that ended up costing us about six months actually of time on our on our mutation screen simply because the DNAs weren't accurately quantitated and when we normalized them it was uh, they were unusable. What ended up happening was we had fish that were the genomic DNA that was, was over diluted compared to uh, other samples in the uh, in the screen and um, and so essentially we lost all those fish to our screen. We weren't able to identify any mutations that any of those fish would have been carrying. Um, and it took us quite some time to figure out that that was the, the fundamental problem in our screen during that time. So we changed to the qubit so that we could get our DNA concentrations really nailed down. What we ended up doing was going back and using the qubit to measure all of those samples that we thought we had normalized in the beginning. And of course what we discovered was there was uh, at least a tenfold difference across samples mm -hmm. in terms of DNA concentration. And that's partly because I think we were pushing the limits of the previous uh, technology. Uh, some of our DNA concentrations were low, too low to be ac accurately measured. And whereas you know, the qubit, we have lots of flexibility in terms of being able to use either a high sensitivity, t sensitivity kit or a broad range kit to measure a, a, a diversity of concentrations accurately. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we do recommend it. And we recommend that people use our machine. And we do it for, uh, for two reasons. One, it's, uh, it's well, three reasons really. It's accurate. That's the main thing. We can believe the results. We, we recommend it because it's easy to use. And, uh, and we recommend it because the upstream cost of, uh, of using the machine in terms of reagents is really inexpensive compared to the downstream cost of not having DNA accurately quantitated. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, to run one lane of, of, of paired-end sequencing on our next-gen sequencer, our cost here is $2,000. So that's a lot of money right. compared to a few bucks on the upstream side to make sure the DNA is uh, accurately quantitated.